So you've got yourself a basic ME network and you're wondering, what's the next step? I keep running out of channels. I hate having to use all of these cables to try and expand the network and I'm out of sides on my controller. What can I do now to get more stuff on my network? That's why I'm going to introduce you to this new system that we're going to call subnetworking. Now a subnetwork in the, the base of itself is just a network that your main network is able to interact with but not send data to. We're gonna use these quartz fibers here to allow that to happen. So this will transfer power, but it will not transfer data. And you can see that by the fact that if I place another cable here and then place a terminal on there, I won't see anything in this terminal, but I'll see all of my items in that one because this is on a subnetwork. But if I were to put a drive over here, right? Like an ME drive, put that right there, and then put one of my discs in there that has items. Now, this one doesn't have any items, but this one does, right? Because they're subnetwork. This one only is receiving power with this one. Now, when these subnetworks really begin to get powerful, is whenever you realize that with an ME interface, I can place that down, and that will, it's the name, allow this network to interface with the subnetwork. I can take an ME storage bus. Place that onto the interface just like that, and that gets me recursive networking. So basically what this does is I have six ME drives right here, and it's only taking up one channel. So if I place down some smart cables instead, it's not going to like this one there, but I can go like this, place down a storage bus, and you'll see one channel, but I'm getting eight or sorry, six ME drives right there, just like that. And if I place some disks in there, this terminal will be able to access those. But right now, these don't have any kind of power, right? Because there's nothing going to them, and this storage bus will not transfer power. You'll see device offline. So what I have to do is place a quartz fiber just like that, and now that will transfer power, and you'll see this interface says device online. What's really amazing about this setup is that it's expandable infinitely with one channel on this network, I now have six ME drives. I've connected it over to another storage bus on an interface. And then this subnetwork, I've got two storage buses on these chests right here. So anything that's in these chests will be accessible from over here in this terminal. And I can pull those right on out. And now you'll see that there will be nothing in these chests. And that goes for the same for anything in these ME drives. And you can continue to build upon this as far as you want. Now, that's how you can use subnetworking for storage. But what if I want to use my ME system to automatically, say, mine some ores with Fortune? Well, what's cool is you can enchant these annihilation planes right here with Fortune 3 or whatever Fortune you may have. If you have access to Apotheosis, you can go up to Fortune whatever. Fortune 10, I believe, is what you can go up to with that. But for now, we'll be going with Vanilla Fortune 3. I don't actually have it on this Annihilation Plane, but we'll pretend like it does. I'm going to set up a basic subnetwork for putting down blocks and then breaking blocks. So for this one, I'm going to be using Coal Ore. So I have an interface right here that is offline currently. There's an export bus right here, and I'm going to filter that to export Coal Ore. Now I'm going to place myself a Quartz Fiber right there and connect this over to my interface so that this guy comes online. And then I can use this interface. I can bring that up just like that, throw down a formation plane, and this thing works essentially like a storage bus would. So anything that goes into the system is either gonna get thrown out or placed by this formation plane. So I can filter it and say for formation plane, coal ore, blocks will be placed. So now if I place coal ore into here, you'll notice that it gets placed as it gets pulled into this interface and I can break it and another one will get placed. Now, in order to set up the annihilation plane, that's a much easier task. All I have to do is place that down right there, place that down right there, and that's going to go into town breaking that. This white cable is my main network. So all of the coal coming from that is going straight back into this terminal here and any amount of coal ore that goes into my system, let's see if I can pick block there, any amount of coal ore that goes into my system will be placed down over here and then mined. Just like that, super awesome setup, and it goes only at the speed of however fast this export bus is able to go. So if I were to put some acceleration cards in there, 
you'll see that this guy will start going significantly faster. Let's see how that looks. We'll place four acceleration cards, and there you go. Now that's pretty much instant, and we're getting all of our coal instantly mined, just like that by our ME system. So another thing that I can use this setup for is I can add a third subnet right here. This one has a storage bus connected to an interface on our main subnetwork. That way anything that is stored in this blue subnetwork goes straight into our main one here. So you'll see what I've got right here is some flawless budding Certus Quartz. And right now, if I place down a small Certus Quartz bud, it immediately gets broken and into our system goes Certus Quartz dust. Well, if I grab myself a piece of Certus Quartz and I come over to the storage bus and I filter it to only be able to store Certus Quartz crystals, now, if I place a small Certus Quartz bud, it won't get mined because this blue network is only able to store Certus Quartz crystals, not Certus Quartz dust. But once this grows up into a full budded Certus Quartz, it will get mined and it will get put into our system right here. So guys, thank y'all very much for watching. That is today's video on subnetworking. Next video, we will be getting into some P2P networking and really expanding our network. So I hope that y'all enjoyed. I hope that y'all learned something. And as always, take care y'all. See you in the next one.